The Fair Trading Commission continues to keep a watchful eye on utility companies in Barbados. This is according to its chairman, Jefferson Cumberbatch. He says a decision should be made soon on standards for the Barbados Water Authority. This follows a consultation paper and three town hall meetings to gauge public opinion. Mr. Cumberbatch was speaking during the commission's recent 13th annual lecture. Consumers provided invaluable information that will inform our determination of the initial standards of service for the BWA, especially with regard to the levels of remuneration in cases of breach and the optimal targets to be, to some, for some standards. National Petroleum Corporation has been approved for a 34 million U.S. dollar loan from the Inter-American Development Bank. The IDB loan is titled Deployment of Cleaner Fuels and Renewable Energies in Barbados. The business report understands a new project execution unit is to be set up by June to carry out the tasks of the loan. The main objectives of the project are to enhance the island's energy security and sustainability by diversifying its energy matrix through the promotion of fuels and increasing the use of renewable energy sources. In an advertisement today, the NPC is seeking to fill several positions for that new unit for a period of two years in the first instance. The Barbados-based fintech company Bit Inc. and the professional services firm PricewaterhouseCoopers will be working together to deepen the use of blockchain technology across the Caribbean. And the two companies have executed a memorandum of understanding to this effect. The agreement was signed by PwC partner and lead for advisory services in the Eastern Caribbean, Oliver Jordan, and BIT's Chief Executive, Chief Operation Officer, Simon Chantry. The MOU is with respect to advisory services that PricewaterhouseCoopers may provide to companies looking to utilize blockchain technology, including those relating to the advancement of BIT services. Those services include the use of electronic money, digital fiat currency, blockchain technology and virtual currency services throughout the Caribbean. Commercial banks, central banks and other institutions seeking to pilot BITS surf software will benefit from access to PwC's deep global financial technology expertise in blockchain research and knowledge. Time now to take a look at how stocks traded on selected exchanges across the region. In Jamaica, JMMB Group Limited was the volume leader with 2,730,333 units. In Trinidad and Tobago, JMMB Group Limited was the volume leader as well with 47,322 shares changing hands, all for a value of $57,732.84. And here in Barbados, Cable & Wireless Barbados Limited was the volume leader, trading 4,462 shares at $2.45 each.